Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. Right, right. Yeah, that's no skin off my teeth. Right. I, I gotta go. All right, thanks. Hey, welcome back to Discovery Ranch. I'm Mr. Dawson, and we're here to learn new things so we can learn how to read and write. Join me here each day so we can learn new things together. I was just on the phone because, you know, those turkeys are loose all over the ranch, and we have been working hard to gather them back up. And it's been pretty hard because it's been a little bit colder. Why? I was trying to figure that out. And then I remembered, today is December. Can you believe it? Wow, it is getting a little bit colder out there. Well, at least for Fresno. All right, here we go. Do you want to review some letters with me? Let's go. O, octopus, ah. Say that with me. Come on. M, map, mmm. S, sun, s. P, piano, p. T, turtle, t. I, insect, i. A, Apple, ah. N, nest, n. C, camel, k. Are you saying them? Ah, octopus, ah. O, octopus, ah. Made a mistake. That's all right. Now, what have we been learning since yesterday? We've been learning the letter H. This is the uppercase H, and this is the lowercase h. Do you remember the phoneme for H? That's right. <sighs> is for H. We need to look at our paper here and decide which picture has <sighs> is for H at the very beginning of the word, and then write that letter. Are you ready to play? Here we go. They've done the first one for us, hat. Hat is for H, so they put an H. Let's do the next one. Hammer. Does that have the H sound? It does. So guess what? I'm going to write the letter H here. There we go. Let's go to the next one, number two. I have carrot and heart. Let's see if it has the H phoneme at the very beginning. Carrot, k, k, carrot. No, that has k. That's a different letter. How about heart? <sighs> heart. Yes, it has. <sighs> it's for H. So guess what I'm going to put there? That's right. I'm going to put an H because <sighs> is for H. Well, let's look at the next set of pictures. I have a horse and I have a hand. Let's see, horse, horse, yes, yes, it has is for H. And what about hand? Right, it does too, doesn't it? Is for H. Oh, you guys are so smart. Let's look at the last set of pictures. So I have a dog and a helicopter. Let's check him out and see if it has the H phoneme at the very beginning, dog. Duh, duh, dog. No way, that has duh, that is not the H phoneme. Okay, so let's look at the helicopter. Helicopter, <sighs> helicopter, <sighs> yes, <sighs> is for H. You did it, amazing. We found all the pictures that have <sighs> is for H. 
remember that because when you hear a word that has H in it, you know you're going to put the letter H. That is amazing. What time is it now? Oh, I know. It's time for phonemic awareness. Bing. There we go. Are you ready for some phonemic awareness? Here we go. We have M, S, and F. What is the phoneme for M? Mmm. What is the phoneme for S? S. And what is the phoneme for F? F. Let me make those a little bit better for you. There's the M. Here's the S. And here is the F. We need to find the beginning phonemes that go with these letters. Let's listen to the first one. Are you ready? Sun. Sun. Which phoneme, which letter is going to go with the beginning phoneme in sun? Right. S. So guess what I'm going to write here? An S. Let's look at the next one. Fish. Fish. What is the beginning phoneme? is for F, right. So I'm going to write an F here. And I'm doing lowercase because most of the letters that we write are usually lowercase. Let's look at this one. Soap. Soap. What's the beginning phoneme? S, S is for S, right. So what would I write? Exactly, an S. Let's do this last one. This last one is a mop. M mop. What's the beginning phoneme? M. M. M is for what letter? M. Right. So guess what letter I would write? An M. M is for M. We did it. Look at that. When you hear the phoneme and you identify the letter that goes with the phoneme, you can write the letter that goes there. Isn't that awesome? Hey, let's stop there and talk about sight words because sight words are so important. Yes, they are. Because if you know them, if you can put them in your brain and remember them, you'll be able to write them as well as when you see them in a book, you'll be able to read them. And what are our sight words that we've been learning this week? Do you remember this one? Right. This is the word my. M-Y spells my. Can you say my? Yes. How about this one here? Do you remember this one? Right, it's do. D-O spells do. So I have my and I have do. Keep learning those words, boys and girls. You'll get it. Why? Because you have an I can do attitude. Well, this week we have been learning about adjectives. Professor Giesenbert told us that adjectives are words that give us more information about the noun. You, did you know also that adjectives can be colors? It could be shape and size. That helps us to know what adjectives are. So let's look at our three pictures here. I have a hat, a star, and a box. Well, it would be easy just to say hat but we want to use adjectives to make the, the sentence more interesting and give us more information. So I noticed that the hat is purple. So I wrote a sentence that says this, there is a purple hat. Which word is giving me more information about our hat? Right, it's the word purple. The purple hat, that's the adjective. How about this one, the star? What do you notice about the star? It's yellow, right. So I can say, I see a yellow star. What's the adjective? Yellow, why? Because it's giving me more information about the word star. What do I know about the star? It's yellow, right. And here's my last one, box, box. And I notice it doesn't look like it here, but I notice that that box is big. So I wrote, she picks up a big box. So what's the adjective? Right, it's big. What do we know about the box? The box is big. 
I'd also like to say, did you see all those sight words? I see a is a she up a. Those are all sight words. If you have them in your brain, you'll be able to read them. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. All right. Let's use our skills to read our book. Do you remember our book from yesterday? Hop can hop. And what is, or who is Hop? I should say it that way. Who is Hop? Do you remember? Right. It was the rabbit. Here's where you're using your skills of remembering those sight words and reading them. Let's look right here. Hop can hop. So we said that it's probably going to be the rabbit. Let's find out if Hop is the rabbit. I am dot. I like hop. And I noticed that hop is uppercase. So that's somebody's name. That's somebody's name. So if this is dot, then this must be hop. That's how cool pictures are in a book. It helps us to know who characters are. And sometimes it'll even help us to uh, know what a word is. Let's keep going. I am, ooh, ooh, I don't know that word. What can I do? Right, I can use my skills. I have H-O-T, so here we go. Hot. Let's blend it. Hot. Hot. What's the word? Hot. It says, I am hot. See my hat on top. Let's keep going. Hop is hot. Hop can hop on top. Do you see hop? What's he on top of? Right, the vase, the vase with the flowers. Yes, and do you see the word can and is and on? Those are all sight words. They're all sight words, and if you know those sight words, and you, when you see them, you'll say them. Let's keep going. This is a great book. I'm enjoying this book. Hop can hop, hop, hop. Do you know what's cool? Is that if you see one hop, you know they all say hop when it says H-O-P. I can hop, hop, hop. Oh, they're all hopping. I can sit. Hop can sit. Pop and I can sip. Hop can sip. Wow, what a great story we just read. Lots of sight words, words that we have to sound out. It was awesome. Hey, we've learned a lot today about the letter H and some adjectives, and we read some books and some sight words. I wonder what we're going to do tomorrow, because it will be a new letter. I hope you can come back tomorrow so we can learn a new letter and more about adjectives. I hope you had a good day and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun, learning is good for everyone.